Welcome back. It's a setback for the Karnataka government. We're given to understand that the Kaveri Water Regulation Committee has recommended the Karnataka government to release water to Tamil Nadu. It has been instructed, in fact, to release 5,000 cusecs of water every day for the next 15 days. Now, in connection with the Kaveri River water dispute, the commission which met uh, instructed Karnataka to release 5,000 cusecs of water every day for 15 days. At present, 1,900 cusecs of water is being released to Tamil Nadu. An instruction has been given to release 5,000 to increase that to 5,000. That means 3,100 cusecs of water has to be drained additionally. But Karnataka has decided to challenge the notice of the commission before the Kaveri Water Management Authority without agreeing to the notice. Our government and our department officers कन्विंस करके आज मीटिंग है सीडब्ल्यूएमए सीडब्ल्यूएमए मीटिंग में कर्नाटक तरफ से ये लोग कन्विंस करने की जरूरत है वो काम करेगा बोल के हमारे मन में है रिसेंट ऑर्डर ऑफ सीडब्ल्यूआरसी टू गवर्नमेंट ऑफ कर्नाटका is nothing but pushing farmers to into a debt trap. The government of Karnataka, which first failed in Supreme Court uh, to objecting the matter there, now they will have to struggle hard to get some relief to the Karnataka. Otherwise, this is nothing but hanging farmers' interest first and then also throttling the Water users of water users of Bangalore City. CWRC today instruct the Karnataka government to release the water is a victory for Delta farmers. But the Karnataka government will not obey the instructions because here in Tamil Nadu we are having not a bold CM. That's why this was happened. Here ruling government they are not bothered about. Karna Kaveri Delta farmers, if anything, they will not obey. The central government will take severe action against the Karnataka government. Now, there's politics happening on this as well. The BJP says the Congress government in Karnataka has failed to safeguard the interest of the farmers. The farmers are protesting uh, as well as far as release of water to Tamil Nadu is concerned. Now, there has been a setback for the Siddha Sarkar because the commission has instructed the government to release 5,000 Q6 water per day for 15 days. However, the Karnataka government is going to challenge the decision of uh, Kaveri Water Regulation Commission before the Kaveri Water Management Authority. We have multiple reactions coming in. BJP slams the Congress government says they have failed in protecting the rights and interests of the farmers and they also failed in Supreme Court to object in this particular matter. BJP is also of the belief, in fact, in the reaction that came in from Basavraj Ingin, the leader of the BJP says CRWC order is nothing but punishing farmers into a dead trap. We have Deepak joining us in the broadcast with more details. Deepak, the committee has asked Karnataka government to increase the capacity of release, asked them to now release 5,000 Qsex water per day for 15 days. Uh, how is the government going to go about, uh, is going to go about this issue? They had uh, said that they'll challenge this in front of the authority. Well, uh, at this point in time, the protests have begun outside the KRS dam. You can see, uh, uh, you know, the uh, farmers who are tying a black cloth to their, uh, uh, you know, uh, eyes. And they're saying that uh, right now the Congress government seems to be blind to the problems of the farmers here in Mandya. They're saying that it seems that some sort of a friendship uh, with uh, the Tamil Nadu uh, government, with the chief ministers, you know, leading to these sort of decisions that are being taken. They're saying objection should have been uh, filed by uh, the Congress uh, uh, government here in Karnataka. The Karnataka government uh, for the release of water in the beginning itself, uh, then a situation like this would not have arisen. This is a silent protest that they're staging in front of the KRS dam. I'm going to ask my video journalist to show you the gate of the KRS dam uh, right behind me and the waters, of course, uh, uh, that is adjacent to it. Uh, now, the police, of course, have been deployed here because there's a protest that has been uh, scheduled at this particular 
particular location in front of the KRS dam. Also another protest by farmer groups uh, in Mandya as well. Now this is a silent protest that's being held. We just heard uh, the farmer leader here uh, go on to talk extensively about what has happened over the Kaveri uh, water uh, sharing issue. And they're saying that uh, while this time with the amount of water that is in our reservoirs, which may not be sufficient uh, for drinking water needs itself, the Congress government deciding to release water is going to be detrimental to the interests of the farmers, especially along the Kaveri Basin. Uh, and they're saying that uh, this is not something that is desirable. And some of the statements that have come in from the Water Resources Minister, the Deputy Chief Minister, Mr. D.K. Shukumar, going on to state that, uh, you know, uh, that it is only BJP-led protests uh, is completely wrong. And the farmers are actually in a situation of distress, which needs to be looked into uh, by uh, the government is uh, what they are urging. Uh, this is a silent protest. And they're saying in the coming days, the protest will only intensify if the Karnataka government does not do enough to protect the interests of the farmers here in the Kaveri Basin. Back Absolutely. To you. What we are also witnessing is a political blame game. Now the BJP slamming the Karnataka government saying they failed to safeguard the interest of the farmers and uh, you know also failed to object to this matter in the top court, putting the ball in the Karnataka uh, government's court. Well, yes, and that's what even, uh, you know, the opposition parties have, as well have maintained, that uh, from the beginning when the, when, when the matter was taken up in the Supreme Court, why, uh, you know, decisions uh, weren't taken, why, uh, you know, legally they, they didn't really move forward with it. Let's try and uh, get in a word from some of the farmers themselves, uh, uh, some of the farmer leaders who spoke. I'm going to try and get in a word from them to get a better idea as to what they believe is the uh, real issue. Sir, I'm going to talk about the matter of Karnataka the Palige, Nyaya di Karna, Bala Kanmuchka Tirmana Kodantado. Other in the end, the inale, Adik Bekadanta, Maitina Pardo, Maiti Kodal in Raja Sarkara, to Kanun Sel Bipala Gidrue, Nyaya di Karna, the Thai standard in Boko, Thai standard in the Sandra, the Lina Labeti and the Tamil again Korte, Verunu Tulane Madi. Near Bitre, Tonde and Actirilla. You want to now Bere, you don't the Bere Uluska, Osa Berela, you know Bere Uluska Kagaranta Sandra Dele, near Buda Kelirantado, Anaka Katanta Sandra, Mysur Marajuru, whatever I cut and Tado, Besaike. You now put it away, Besaya Jetege, Kurio Niru Kurvekota, Kurio Nirge, Labet Elia on the Sandra, the Tirmana Kotirantado, Bosha, Tamil Landa, Prabhava Kor Poto, Kotiranta Tirmana, Nayo Nayo Chituadanta, Tirmana Lona Karnike. Nyayadik Nyayanga the Bagi Gorite Kondo, Nyaya the Karna Kutra Suchane, Nyayutwadanta Lanta. DK Shukumar or Hiltare now legal framework Kelsa Marbeko, A Karna Kagi now initially had the TMC release but I accept Marja the Admin now object Martana Divantan Hill. Bondo Eorion Tadrele Bahala Sulgaro DK Shukumar. Karna Yun Tadre, Y near Bidonta Idrele, Namge Nashtadru Sare, Labadru Sare. Our Stanley na ondo akuta martha idhar hai. Our akuta da viswasa girls kar, gelta na girls karke, our martha ro unna ra. Namma Mandya ra itra badkun jote ke chella taar ta idhar mudulne idu. Matte aur ge adine idu saavra kushas dinna prati dinna. Thank you for the moment for getting us those details.